Perfectionism kills dreams. Let me explain. So we all have that friend. And I'm going to use weight because I am always talking about how to lose weight because that's always my struggle. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you out there have the same thing where we say, I'm going to lose X amount of weight, let's say 20 pounds, right? I'm going to lose 20 pounds. We do our New Year's resolution. And maybe by the time after the holidays, maybe it's more like 25 pounds, but you know, no one's counting. Anyhow, so we do our New Year's resolution and we say, I'm going to lose 20 pounds. And we read all the material and we throw all the food away we're not supposed to have. Well, you know, I've never done that. I don't know if anybody actually does that, but I know we're supposed to. Maybe that's part of our problem. But anyhow, we do all the right things. We get the gym membership. We buy the new tennis shoes. We're going to do it, right? And what happens? We're doing really well for maybe a week, two, three, four, maybe a couple of months. And then that one thing happens a birthday party, a night out with the girls, um, something happens, a vacation. And essentially we start to drift back because we gain a little weight and we go, oh, I now have to go doubly hard, but doubly hard is very hard, right? Cause it was already hard enough to lose the weight that you've already lost. So now we're doubling down and it's impossible to keep that going. And so we start to drift backwards again, and then we go, forget it. And so by the time March 1st hits, most people have given up on their resolutions. Now, one thing I hear every single January is I have a resolution to get my finances in order, to save more, to start that retirement account, to figure out where I am with my planning, whatever that thing is, there's some financial goal. And I'm going to use saving as an example. Let's say your goal is to save $500 a month. Okay. And so you hit it in January and you're like, yeah, I got it. You hit it in February and you're like, got it. And then March comes around and maybe there were some taxes that you didn't know you had to pay or your tires needed to be replaced or something like that. And maybe you only saved $50. Okay. Now we think well, I got to make it up because it's $500 a month I'm supposed to do. And we start to do that same roller coaster where we don't actually end up getting very far. Roller coaster goes up and down, up and down, and you end up in the same place, right? You end up where you got on. Well, that's exactly what's happening to people is that we let that perfectionism, we have to hit our goal exactly on the head every single time, get in our way. Instead of saying, look at, I put $50 away that month. That was a hard thing to do. I'm very proud I did it. And I'm $50 ahead of where I was beforehand and continuing to build and each month resetting and going, okay, now it's 500 again. And maybe you get 700. Great. Does that mean you don't save the extra $200 that now it's 300 for the next month? No. Every month is like a reset. Every time you hit another milestone, it's like a reset. And so when we get into these perfectionist ways of I've got to hit this goal every time or I'm failing, we really self-sabotage ourselves. And so as we get through the holiday season and we start to put together our resolutions or our goals for next year for 2024, let's really take a look at what are some of those things that we're telling ourselves that are actually hurting us in the long run? And how can we take things like I'm failing and turn it on its head and saying, I did really well because I saved that $50 instead of I failed because I didn't save $500. So think about what you can take, what you're saying to yourself, how you can turn it on its head, and let's get that resolution to work now. And why start in January, by the way, maybe start right away.